saw a little, there he is. Not too cold for you, huh? The frogs are out. Where'd you go? This little guy right here just found out. I'm uh driving up to see if we can find some of those western space foot toads because I've actually never seen. I didn't even know they were in California until like a year ago. But my buddy Nathan is the um, herpetologist for Riverside and we're going to see if we can find some uh, one of his spots. I've already seen a tree frog and a couple toads. So the, the frogs are moving. That's Dude. Awesome. I got some away, little buddy. Yeah, I, I'd I expect them to be singing, but let's see. I mean, I guess it's still a little bit before peak breeding yeah. hours. I think it's a rock. Yeah, it's a rock. Sneaky, Sneaky rock, Dan. <laughs> I actually um got glasses. Where do you see it? On the other side. On the ground? See it? On the grass. Oh, yeah. Wind in the water? It just moved behind the veg. We might be able to see it, though. Let's go try to see it. Yeah, because this gets pretty deep. So we can oh, does it? The, uh, in the middle. Oh, do you hear him? I hear one, yeah. There he is. Oh, yeah, there he is. Don't go, buddy. Is that a western, though? No, it's not. That's a western. Is it? Yeah, it's got the dorsal stripe, and then the... It's got the paratoid glands. Spadefoots don't have that. Oh, western toad, yeah. Because aren't the spadefoot... Yeah, spade foot here westerns? Western yeah. Oh, there's a spadefoot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> sorry. Oh, there's one. You hear the snoring? The snoring? Yeah. That's them. Okay. So there's a pool over there we can check out, too. That's probably the better pool, honestly. Dang, this is tight. Oh, there's some tadpoles moving around. Oh, that's a fairy shrimp. It is? That's a fairy shrimp, yeah. What's a fairy shrimp? Bracken, bra Braconecta lindali. What is that? Uh, so it's like a type of crustacean. Um, <laughs> that just live in these vernal pools in parking lots? Yep, they're, vernal, they're like a vernal pool species, like an ancient huh. species. They are super simple. They just swim, breed, and die. And uh, But their whole life strategy is just being out there... Uh, Embryo is able to survive during the drought periods and then re-establishing pools without any Dang. predators. Let's go. Cool. We should check out that pool. That's the yeah, nice let's go. One. Can... So you got Baja and then the... Baja's the... Like a comb and then the snoring is the space pits. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've never... I never heard the space pits. Me neither. I've only heard like, you know, audio recordings. But yeah, I kind of fell into it. It was a uh, expect. It's my first time interacting with the adults. Yeah. All last year, just dealing with tadpoles. I think these are like the, like the cutest of all the frogs. Me too. I love these guys. See, this one's more down. What's that? You gonna make some babies? This pool is chock full. I think we counted like over a hundred big masses last year. Oh wow. It's
At least there's a bunch more. Yeah. And hopefully with last year, there's a plethora of new. It reminds me of those ones that are like, you see on, like standing there with water just pouring on it. <laughs> I know what you mean, yeah. <laughs> Actually, in grad school one summer. Oh, really? Yeah, just, just some shop work. Future, future little spade foots. Yeah, that's gonna awesome. come from this. Cool. Yeah, they, parted they did? Yeah. I mean, they just went deeper. Yeah, yeah. Is the other one there? The other one's still there. Just waiting.